Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best on camera monitors. Starting at number 5 Feelworld F570. Automos and Blackmagic are the big names in external camera screens, but are not the cheapest. For a more affordable monitor without external recording, there are several less expensive brands, and Feelworld is one of the most widely available. This 5.7-inch display costs a good deal less than an Automos or Blackmagic equivalents, and its 200G weight means it can sit quite nicely on a DSLR or mirrorless camera hot shoe without overbalancing your setup. It can display 4K 30p footage or Full HD at 60p, which will be enough more many filmmakers, though its screen is not the brightest, which could affect its usability outdoors. Coming at number 4. Automos Shinobi 7. As you may have grokked by now, the Automos external monitor range has two main families. The Ninjas offer external recording too, while the Shinobis just offer monitoring. The Shinobi 7 inch, as the name suggests, boasts a larger screen than the Ninja models or the smaller Shinobi 5 inch. It can also display 4K 60 video and has a higher maximum brightness than the Shinobi 5 inch. However, it is twice the price and more than twice the weight, so you'd probably keep this for higher-end setups where you need the bigger screen and you're using a setup where the weight is less important 577G would be a lot to have fixed to the top of the camera if you're shooting handheld or with a gimbal. At number 3. Automos Shinobi 5. Not everyone needs an external recorder. Many current cameras offer internal recording at 10-bit quality perfectly good enough for log recording and color grading later. An external monitor is still a great shooting accessory, and its improved display is probably worth at least as much as, if not more than, external recording features. So if you just want the Ninja V's 5-inch display but not its internal recording, then the Shinobi 5-inch is for you. It's both a lot cheaper than the Ninja V and barely two-thirds the weight and weight is a big factor if you're going to mount your external monitor on the camera. Be aware of though, that the resolution tops out at 4K 30p or FHD at 60p, and many of the best mirrorless cameras can go beyond this. Number 2 of my list. Automos Ninja V Plus. The standard Automos Ninja V tops out at a resolution of 4K 60 which is sufficient for most filmmakers. However, you'll have noticed how many cameras now shoot 6K or even 8K, and the Ninja V Plus has been made to handle these much higher resolutions, offering 8K capture at 30 frames per second and 4K at an impressive 120 frames per second. The screen is slightly larger than the Ninja V's at 5.2 inches, though the difference is barely noticeable. The resolution and maximum brightness are the same as is the interface, storage, and even the weight. The Ninja V Plus is more expensive than the original, as you'd expect, but not a whole lot more when you take into account its 8K capture capabilities. And number 1. Automos Ninja V. The Automos Ninja V is the best external camera screen and recorder to buy today. It's been around for a while and its ability to capture 4K ProRes raw video and adoption by so many camera makers has made it practically the standard external monitor for many mirrorless cameras. It's also opened up the potential for raw capture with cameras that don't support it internally, though some models may require a firmware update. Given its capabilities, the Ninja V is great value, and many videographers will need look no further. SSD storage is not included, however, and Atomos's own storage media is expensive, though there are cheaper third-party solutions. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.